Hello viewers, this is your tutorial on how to automate post comment on Facebook using Socinator. Commenting on other people's posts on Facebook is a great way to interact with them. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your Facebook account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Facebook through Socinator. Let's click Post Comment. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to comment on a number of posts within a period of time while narrowing them down in a process. There are several configuration categories for post comment activity. Let's begin with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted posts to comment on. So you have the option to engage with posts from the first one is Timeline, so this will target posts in your own Facebook profile. Next is News Feed, so this will target posts that appear in your own News Feed. Next is Friend Timeline, we need a specific profile URL here. So let's say this specific Facebook profile, copy the profile URL and paste it in this area. So you may clear using the Clear All button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking that button. Select the right file and click open. So when you're done, click the save button and this will target the posts in that specific Facebook user's timeline. Next we have group. So this time we need a Facebook group URL. Let's choose the how to draw manga group for example. Copy the group URL and paste it in this area. You may clear using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Click save when you're done and it will target the posts in that specific Facebook group. Next is pages. So we need a specific Facebook page URL this time. So let's say the Oreo page. Copy the page URL. Paste it here. You may clear using the clear all button and you may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Click save when you're done and this will target posts in that specific Facebook page. Next we have custom posts list. So here we need a specific post URL. So let's use this Facebook post by the Oreo page. Click share and click copy link. Success. So paste the post URL and click save when you're done. You may also clear and import using those buttons. So this will target that specific Facebook post. Next we have publisher campaigns. So this depends on the publisher campaigns you have created using Socinator. Simply copy the campaign ID from the publisher campaign and paste it in this area and click save when you're done. For keyword, you may enter a word which you want to target, let's say cats and click save. You may also clear and import by using those buttons. So this will target posts containing this keyword, cats. Finally, we have profile scraper campaigns. So this depends on the profile scraper campaigns you have created using Socinator. Simply copy the campaign ID from the profile scraper campaign of your choice and paste it in this area. Click save when you're done. You may also clear and import using those buttons. The next category is page post react by. So you can choose to react using your own Facebook account you may also select own page here if you have your own Facebook page. So we need to paste the page URL in this area and click save when you're done. You may also clear and import using those buttons. Next we have reaction type. So comment is selected because we want to comment on Facebook posts. If you hover on spin tags, you can see the format of the comments. So you can have several comments each separated by that symbol. So let's say cool separate with a symbol awesome separate with a symbol great so you can have several comments separated with this symbol you may clear using the clear all button and it's gone you may also import from csv or text file by clicking this button select the right file comment for example and click open and it's uploaded successfully check spin tags and it will randomly select any of these comments for queries it depends on our search query earlier, so you can choose one or more than one or all of them. 
let's select all. For filter text, type the text you want to filter in this area according to your preferences. When you're done, click the add comment to list button and it will be added to the comment lists over here. And the action button over here will allow us to edit or delete the comment. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should comment on posts. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 25, medium, fast, or super fast. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each post is commented on. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after commenting on the number of posts you set in number of comments per job. Number of comments per job will allow you to specify the number of Facebook posts you want to comment on per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of posts to comment on per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max comment per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep commenting on posts even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one, let's say 2 a.m to 11.59 p.m., click Add Interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's call it Facebook Post Comment. Click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing Facebook Post Comment. Next, we have Post Filters. This allows us to filter the Facebook posts we want to comment on. So the first one we can filter by Reaction Count. So you can specify the minimum and maximum numbers of likes, shares, and comments of each post. Next, we can filter by posted date. You can specify how old the posts should have been posted. Next is post type, so you can ignore posts without media, so text only. You may also ignore images or videos. And finally, we can filter by blacklisted or whitelisted words in caption. So if we add blacklisted words that should not be in the caption, uh, enter the text or words that shouldn't be in the caption. So let's say you're not into politics, type politics. You may clear using the clear all button. You may also import using this button. Click save when you're done. Whitelisted is the exact opposite. So these are the words that you want to be in the caption of the post. So let's say cats. So click save when you're done. You may also clear or import using these buttons. Next, we have mention users. So you have the option to mention a specific number of friends on each comment. It will be random unless you type them in this area. Though you may specify the friends by clicking the select friends button over here. Finally, the last configuration category is after post comment action. So this allows us to perform an action after commenting on posts. You have the option to like the post after commenting on it. You also have the option to send a friend request to the user if the post is from a Facebook user. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start commenting on posts, let's scroll up and hit the Save button, Success, and click the Status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating post comment on Facebook through Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple Facebook accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button and select Facebook. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the engage tab and select post comment on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign, let's call it Facebook post commenter. For search query, let's use timeline and newsfeed. For page post react by, let's select our own account. For reaction type, comment and let's use the comments from earlier. Check spin tax for queries, all. Uh, for filter text, it's up to you. And let's click add comment to list. 
For job configuration, let's select slow. For post filters, let's ignore posts without media. For after post comment action, let's like and send friend request. Other configurations, it's up to you so you can choose to send unique comments from each account or for each post. You may also check this box if you want to mention Facebook users in your comment. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Facebook accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click the box of the account and the save button. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our Facebook post commenter campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.